So, rather annoyingly, my program crashed 12 seconds into the video. So, these were the answers um, that, that lost. It was only four questions, fortunately. Basically, all you have to do is just take points on the original graph and swap the X and the Y. So, for example, for example, uh, the point two, uh, two one becomes the point one two, or the point three three becomes the point three three. And like here on the original graph, for example, the point minus two zero becomes zero minus two. So by exchanging the X with the Y, you can produce the inverse graph and then quite easily answer the questions F inverse of one is two, F inverse of one is minus one, uh, F inverse of, of one is zero. And this is the uh, this answer here, 263. F in, uh, this graph is a bit funny because its inverse is itself, I think. Like, I mean, um, when you swap, uh, for example, four, uh, 0, 4 with 4, 0, you've got just this point here. In fact, the function for fx is root uh, 16 minus x squared. And um, I would have thought like the inverse would have been the same thing. Yeah, I think the inverse is the same exact same function, 16 minus x squared. So f inverse of one is root 15. And you can, you can see here that kind of matches up. So I'm confused why the answer for 263 is not that. So what I was going to do was pause the video and check the answer. And that's when I noticed it wasn't recording. So I'll pause and check, uh, I mean, the errata list. So I don't see it listed anywhere here on this page. Like if I search for 263, um, I don't find it. So I'm kind of surprised that nobody would have noticed this, but could I have made a mistake? Like why? Why negative though? I really think this should be root 15, but why minus one over root three? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a mistake. Let me submit it. Okay, so I'm going to submit here. Uh, I think the answer should be root 15. I'm, I'm not sure how a negative answer was found because the domain and the range are both zero four. So I just, yeah, I just, I don't, don't get it. So, okay, let's submit this. Okay, let's continue where we left off. We want to find um, the derivative the inverse function and the derivative of the in inverse function. Okay, 264. The f dx is 6, uh, regardless. Um, the inverse function, let's find it. 
y equals 6x minus 1. So that means x equals y plus 1 over 6. So that's the, I think, the, the equation they're looking for you to state. And then using part b, find the derivative. So the derivative of the inverse would be 1 over 6. Okay, 265. So we've done that. Uh, df dx is 6x squared, but this is, has to be at 1, so that's 6. And then uh, let's get the inverse, y equals 2x cubed minus 3. So that means x would equal y plus 3 over 2 cube root. And so the derivative would be one third y plus three over two minus two thirds times a half, but that's at one, so that's at one. So that's one third, uh, three plus one is four, two power minus two thirds times a half. So that would be one third times one half, three over two, half. So let's see. Let's clean this up a bit. This would be one over eight. One over eight power a half times a half. So that's okay. 2 root 2 times a half, so 1 twelfth root 2, it's root 2 over 24, okay, Mm, I think I made a mistake with a two somewhere. Let's double check. Actually, do you know what? I should check if the answer is the decimal because I'll be going doing needless work if it if it's um not a decimal or if it is a decimal. Uh, two sixty five. Okay. One over um, six, uh, two sixty four. Oh no, there's no answer for two. So, two two sixty five, six. Yep. Oh, and the answer is one over six. Okay, so we keep it as a fraction. Um. <laughs> The derivative oh now I have to be careful it's not the derivative at one it's the derivative at f of one that's what to be careful about so f of one is two minus three minus one so it's minus one minus one that's much better because that makes it a two which is a one so it's one over six. Okay, so that's okay. Now, 266. Uh, DF, DF, the uh, DX is minus 2X, but this is a two. So that's minus four. 
then y equals 9 minus x squared. So that means x would equal 9 minus y root. Um, and we're keeping it positive. And then the f inverse dy. Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. And then multiply by minus. And that has to be calculated at f of 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. So that's at 5. So 9 minus 5 is 4. To the power of minus a half is a half. Times minus a half, that's minus a quarter. Okay, 267 f of x. Uh, the derivative that's cos x but then at zero so that's one y equals sine x so x equals sine inverse y and the f inverse the x oh i'll have to get the derivative of sine inverse which is a little bit tricky and I'm not sure if it's been done yet. So I wonder if this is a thought provoking question. Because you have to use implicit derivatives here, which is the next section. So. I think. <laughs> What you're supposed to notice, if you compare the answers, 6, 1 over 6, 6, 1 over 6, minus 4, minus 1 over 4. So guess what? We're going to go with... 1 over 1 because you can notice that um, the point I think they're trying to get you to discover is that this here will just be the reciprocal of this. Let's check the answer for 267. Yeah. Cute. And I think that would be an excellent place to finish for today. So thanks for watching. Any comments, please let me know and I'll see you next time.